Hello, my darlings. Welcome to my channel. I'm your favorite tarot reader, Srijita, here today with a new pick up pile reading. Okay. So today's topic is what will be your future spouse's love language. Okay. This is going to be a suggested pick a card reading. Okay. And I'll also shut her name out in my description box. Go ahead and also check that out. So. If you are someone new has no idea what is going on in my channel then let me tell you guys I'm a psychic I use my intuitive power to channel to message from universe and demons and angels because personally I believe that you know upper world that is heaven and underworld and the middle world that we are in right now in the earth these three worlds have some kind of major positive energy and also negative energy so we need to create this beautiful balance right so i'll also choose angels demons and you know ancestors the the person you loved those passed away okay they're also giving us blessings and guiding us to our path so we are i'm going to channel the message from them and we are going to see that what is today's uh, message for you and if you don't know that what you need to do then let me tell you that uh, look at these three piles that i have for you this is pile number one lavender essential oil okay this is pile number one let me focus it guys okay lavender essential oil this is pile number one pile number two is liang liang essential oil pile number three is jasmine essential oil you need to choose any one of them pile one pile two and pile three and if you're drawn to more than one pile go ahead see that maybe you got some kind of mixing message from them so this is intuitive reading just go with the flow close your eyes take a deep breath ask yourself ask your higher self ask your mind that what will be my future husband or future wife's physical or mental love language please tell me Please guide me to the perfect pile that I need. Okay, you can pause the video here. Choose any pile and I'll give the timestamps in my description box. Go in the description box. Check your pile and on the right side you will get the time. You need to click on that time and automatically that click will lead you to the video of that part. Which part is your pile. Okay, then let's go hello my beautiful pile number one those of you choose this beautiful lavender essential oil then this is your reading first of all let me tell you guys you have chose that lavender oil this is all about self-realization and spiritual awakening maybe after marriage you and your future spouse both are going to feel very spiritually connected and the spiritual um, growth will be very very high after getting married with this person and this is also about third eye chakra so maybe your intuitive ability is also very high as well as your future spouses okay this is like extra message from angels that i'm getting so i told you then let's go see your pile that what you got first i'm going to see that what kind of person is your future spouse okay their personality and how they love to approach anyone okay for that i'm going to use light set today okay let's go and shuffle for me okay spirit guides my garden angel archangel michael Maharsov channeled message to me for my pile number one that how will be my pile number one's future spouses love language baby okay and let's go shuffle one more time i don't know but i'm having some kind of um gemini vibrations this is like additional message maybe someone is gemini here let's go and see that this is card one you got the seven of wands you got the king of cups and the chariot okay so look at that in the bottom of the deck you got the three of wands first of all i can see i'm sensing that 
you are going to marry someone who is very spiritual very mature and who really live in a distance land or maybe at the time that you will be meeting your future spouse they will be in a different place like this is not your city this is not your state this is maybe for some of you this is not even your country i can see that your future spouse is someone who is very confident and who is very spiritual person that's why i was telling you that you drawn to this lavender pile and this lavender is all about spiritual things this is about you know if you use lavender essential oil as your vaporizer oil you will get a very relaxing mind even lavender oil is very much essentially used for relaxing your mind body muscle and this is all about relaxation okay like flexible mind and flexible flexible body first of all i can see your future spouse is a very introverted person okay this is their personality okay these three cards is showing me their personality the signs i'm getting aries leo sagittarius pisces cancer scorpio especially cancer because chariot is all about cancer so water and fire energy i can see and i'm also getting that your future spouse love beach area like love ocean sea water area they might take a long time in shower okay they love to shower they love to take a good bath okay i can see that your future spouse is someone who is very old soul okay they have many kind of experience they have so much of experience so much of maturity you are like childish one and your future spouse will be more mature than you they are very introverted person they are into themselves and for 100% sure my angels my darlings that your future spouse are very good in exercise yoga meditation they do some kind of meditation that is for sure because these two cards are showing me the same thing let me show you that look at that in both of this card you can see that you know there is meditation posture going on here and you know his eyes is closed and her eyes also closed so they are very very intuitive your your future spouse literally have a power to see beyond the physical thing your future spouse can read aura your future spouse is having some kind of magical um, power maybe they don't know about it but uh, yes they have they can sense a person's energy they are like sponge they can literally absorb anyone others in energy okay so your future spouse needs some kind of cleansing energy or some kind of reiki therapy sometimes because your future spouse literally a good medium good psychic and empath so your future spouse literally you know catch others negativity and others positivity uh especially negative energies because i can see your future spouse itself himself or herself is a very positive person seven of wands is also giving me the vibrations that they are very protected and uh, they are very self protected they are not easily open up okay so maybe after getting married to this person you know they will take some time and they will need some time from you uh, before open up to you okay i can see that like they are having a very good uh, shell or boundary that is really protecting um like protecting our i can see very um like very orthodox mentality very uh, self protecting energy chariot is also about movement maybe your future spouse is in a job or they are doing something that really causes them some trouble traveling energy movement energy going one place to another city to city country to country state to state okay i can also see that meeting you will be like a new chapter for them number 7 is very important for you number 7 maybe your birthday their birthday or the month or the date that you will meet them okay the number 7 is very important because there is seven of wands there is also card number 7 this is going to be a twin flame relationship because i can see the chariot card there is black horse and white horse hmm pisces energy and cancer energy is very strong here 
your future spouse's third eye chakra is opened they are very spiritual they are beyond like your your league i can sense that maybe you have never uh, imagined to have this kind of future spouse okay october may be important month for you i can see lots of blue your future spouse really talk very very peacefully in fact they are um when they are talking when your future spouse is going to communicate with you that will be very peaceful communication i can sense that because they don't really argue a lot actually they are very peace lover so they don't love to argue or they don't like any argument or any kind of hustle bustle energy they are very peaceful very calm very you know peaceful spiritual mind i am sensing that they are light to your life and i am also getting that your future spouse will come to you because of your health because the chariot card this card is really showing me that your future spouse will come to you because uh, they are going to help you out in some cases okay your future spouse will be your hero or heroine maybe you are having some kind of problem you are having some kind of you know like um obstacle and your future spouse is coming at you to take you away from that problem or to vanish that problem and this is why you met them you are meeting maybe in a very unbelievable way this is not an usual meeting this is going to be something magical something spiritual and after getting married to this person you and your future spouse both will be saying that yes there is soul connection there is luck there is will of fortune because look how we met there is no way no common thing to meet with it, meet with you and me for some of you you might meet your future spouse while traveling traveling to the water body or traveling to sea um ocean beach area i can see that someone is traveling maybe you are traveling to them or they are traveling to you or maybe both both of you are traveling to another place and meeting there for this while i can see that you will meet your future spouse in another place like right now whenever wherever you are watching this video this is not going to be the place you will meet your future spouse in a different place and i'm also getting that their solar plexus chakra is very opened can you see that look at that their solar plexus chakra this chakra is very opened solar plexus chakra is all about creativity solar plexus chakra is all about you know very foodie energy good digestion power very foodie energy very creative very powerful they might they may be a very strong powerful person their soul has so many power so many energy into them and what i'm getting at the, about their personality yes your future spouse really need someone very loving and adorable they are not rough kind of a person i can sense they are very soft i can see they are very they they, they are like soft toys they need their love will be very soft okay so their love language will be more into emotional rather than physical they will do everything for you and you will feel your future spouse's love everywhere and every time in every moment doesn't matter if you guys are apart or if you guys are together doesn't matter because i can sense a really you know a line come into my mind that distance doesn't mean anything when two loyal hearts are together forever so this line really came out of nowhere in my mind so i'm getting that maybe initially this is going to be a long distance relationship there will be distance and i can sense that after marriage you are moving to them moving with them okay or they are moving with you please guys resonate you know change it as it resonate with you mm 
very spiritual person this is going to be a wish fulfillment for some of you this is maybe a manifestation that you are doing let's go see some more information that what will be their love language for that i'm using this deck okay let's go and see that okay you got the seven of cups look at that number seven is coming again and again and again can you see that look at that number seven look at that number seven is here seven of wands is here chariot card number seven so number seven is going to be very important for you number seven or month of july then you got the king of wands oh my god you got the chariot again so yes 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 look at that two chariot cards from different deck look at that so this is twin flame connection this is for sure yes twin flame connection you and your future spouse are same but opposite okay like black and white and i can also see that you know this relationship with your future spouse will be very revolutionary you and your future spouse can go through any obstacle and this is like you know two extremes are coming together chariot energy is also about you know cancer energy is very strong here Maybe someone is really here Cancerian or you may be born in the month of July or maybe your future spouse really born in the month of July because number seven is coming four times. Seven of one, seven of cups, chariot is twice, so number seven and king of ones with king of cups. Can you see that? Like this is perfect balance, like 50% emotional, 50% physical. The physical relationship will be very steamy, very hot for some of you. I can sense that you and your future spouse will do tantra sex. That is some kind of spiritual thing. Sex, uh, sexual life will be like a very um, spiritual exploration for you. Seven of Cups is telling me that you know your a future spouse really have so much of you know so much way. To show you that they love you. Their love language will be many things. Because Seven of Cups is all about options. So I can see that you know they will be kissing you suddenly. They will be hugging you from behind. They will be seeing you, watching you while you are sleeping. Or taking some pictures that you are unaware of. Okay, maybe you are doing something. Maybe you are sleeping. Or you are just out of the bed. And you are, you know, just in a shower and coming out of the bathroom. Like sudden pictures. Your future spouse will click sudden pictures of yours that you are un unaware of. Oh my god, it's raining outside, guys. And I can also see that many traveling, okay. Maybe this is the pile, pile number one, that you will travel the world. Literally, you will travel the world. With your future spouse. You like world traveler cards. Okay. Chariot twice. Chariot really told about traveling. You know moving forward. Whatever obstacle is coming in your way. Coming in the relationship. Doesn't matter. You will always cut the obstacle. And go into the forward. Okay. I'm going to make a forward moving energy. Hmm. You know what your future spouse's love language will be many many love language you can just you know have only one because your future spouse is someone who is very versatile who is very you know very multicolored your future spouse has so many layers and they will be you know showing you love different in different times in different places in different way okay so you can just predict their love language like that okay no which no the reader can say that because i can see sometimes they are just kissing you sometimes they are just hugging you sometimes they are watching you while you are sleeping okay i can see that their love language is very very passionate they're very passionate about you 
and one thing for sure that your future spouse love to see you naked they love to see you naked they love to see you when you are sleeping they love to see you when you are out of the shower and naked wearing a bathrobe or a towel they love to see you when you really undressing yourself they love to see you when you are waking up in the morning while having a naked body and only only a comforter on your boobies okay they love to see that look at that king of cups and king of wands literally they are coming together look at that this is like spiritual and this is the most passionate and sexual energy this is the most spiritual and psychic energy both are together this is dangerous communication the both you and your future spouse the communication will be dangerous like amazing like maybe through communication you guys are doing sex the sex chat you know sex chatting sex calling will be amazing you guys are literally you know you you guys literally can have orgasm while only while uh, talking to each other like your voice and their voice is really so seductive i mean seductive to you and seductive to them okay like you guys can have that mental sex like that mental orgasm all the time that's why your relationship is never bored because you're having so much of different style like this 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 group my pile number 1 this is very spiritual extreme and in the another extreme you guys are like porn star you guys are on bed your future husband or future wife you will be your personal porn star and you you will be their personal porn star like you guys are so good and so creative on bed if any other can see that i know this is very private things and if anyone can could see you and your future spouse in intimated um uh way other will be like praising you and you, you will be the hit porn star okay and i do, i don't know maybe you are a porn star you are watching this video okay this is only for some of you i'm getting that you are having that kind of very good sexual education i'm getting for for pile number 1 you and your future spouse both have a very good sexual education the sex education is very good you know how to stimulate a man or a woman and your future spouse also also know how to uh, handle a woman or how to handle a man like perfect timing perfect posture perfect position like exactly like so synchronicities are coming here two extremes like king of cups too much spiritual too much emotional and king of wands so much passionate and physical and you know intimate relationship and also right now i'm getting that you are having many options many suitors are really you know proposing you and you are a bit confused and if you're not confused this is not for you this is for someone else because i can see that you know there will be some kind of there because the two chariot card is telling me that there will be some kind of obstacle that you and your future spouse will be gone through maybe you have already gone through this or you will be uh, having this kind of problems and don't worry you will you will um, move forward to that energy let's go to the next card that when you will be meeting your future spouse so no for if anyone who is really waiting for their ex this is not your ex okay this is going to be someone new and you will be having like yes is a new relationship new connection new activities exactly let go so if you are still waiting for your ex then look at that look at that this two cards are telling me no let go let go the energy that doesn't serve you anymore this is because this is going to be someone new coming in your way i can see peaceful resolution is really coming in your way this is like rainbow as you can see that i can see rainbow i can see lots of light and angel guardian angel is giving you blessings 
giving you blessings that yes peaceful resolution is here so you should let go of that past and you should let go of that person that really ditch you or dump you because this is someone new and anything else okay you got the bobcat spirit that is telling me life is a mystery and this is card number eight so month august or card number eight will be important for you life is a mystery so angels are telling you that maybe you are in a part of your life right now that you are ending a cycle and you are going to open a new life chapter okay so that's why angels are telling you that sometimes life is a mystery because you don't know what is in the future but you are having this beautiful you know tarot reading down right now you are watching this video tarot not only guide you in the future tarot can also help you to change your future because if you know that this is not your ex so right now you are not going to wait for your ex you will move on to that energy and in this way you are changing your future you are cha you are creating your own future and bobcat spirit is also telling me that your future spouse will be very mysterious why mysterious i can see that because they are very spiritual they love they love to know occult things metaphysical things spirit ghosts anything that is uh, mystical mysterious pagan wiccan like this kind of mysterious thing maybe your future spouse is very much drawn to this uh, mystical mythological stories okay so this is maybe a maybe going to be a common topic that you and your future spouse will love to um, you know communicate about many of your conversation will have this kind of topic and you can see the the way look at that the way the bobcat is looking at you green eyes i can see green eyes for some of your hazel eyes also this is for some of you i can see that your future spouse will be very protective they are not possessive. I can see that they are not possessive. They are not going to uh, make you feel uh, like suffocate. This is not a suffocating energy. But I can see they are very protective. This is also giving me a wolf vibrations. So if anyone in your life is really you know. Um, making you feel bad and everything. Then your future spouse is going to cut them out. Going to kill them. Like not, not literally going to kill them. Like. They are going to really protect you. This is very protective energy and you will be feeling very safe when you are with them. Number 8, number 7 is very important. Because number 7 is coming 4 times. So month of July or number 7. Maybe your birthday, their birthday or that day you will meet your future spouse or that day of your wedding. And number 8 is very important, the month of August, maybe your birth month, their birth month or your birthday, their birthday or the day you will be meeting your future spouse or your wedding day. Because these only two numbers, 7 and 8 is coming so much. Okay, so let's see something from my handmade deck, okay. What is there for you? Okay. Can we just kiss all night? It's like we share the same mind and heart. You heal me, I heal you. Look at that. Like your future spouse is also telling you that you and them share the same thing. Okay. This is like twin flame energy, twin flame vibrations. I feel so protective of you. You are mine. I can't take off my eyes on you. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't I tell you that exactly? This mysterious you know cat bob cat and look at that i feel so protective of you you are mine i can't take off my eyes of you look at that look at that i told you that your future spouse will be very protective they are going to protect you they are protector do you miss me the do you miss me the way i miss you we are twin flames we have been together for a lifetime so this is twin flame energy and this is confirmation and they miss you a lot yes i am older than you you know spiritually i am more experienced than you are i treat you like a baby this is the you know exactly same energy coming again and again i told you by saying king of cups like that yes they are mature very mature very experienced you really teach me how to okay you really teach me how to love yourself 
you are great at self loving so my pile number 1 you will be someone who is very good at self loving so this is all i got for you my pile number 1 so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you have any suggestion let me know i definitely do video on it love you guys hello my darling so if you choose beautiful liang liang essential oil then this is your reading first of all guys let me tell you that liang liang oil is the oil of sexual attraction so you and your future spouse will be very 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 much sexually attracted towards each other and this is a reading for your future spouse's love language so one important big big thing is sex okay like love making sexual attraction you know orgasm like this is the thing that you will be receiving from your future spouse so much of love so much of affection physical love you know physical touch is the main love language of your future spouse your future spouse is not good with their voice or words because they are having hard time to express their uh, their feelings via words so that's why they are using their physical touch many tangible things maybe they are someone who is going to give you some gifts and uh, very luxurious things okay uh, i can sense that your future spouse is someone who is very tangible you know very they they really feel love through touch okay they use their senses i can i can already uh, i'm already getting some kind of you know um earth energy taurus virgo capricorn energy okay this is very touchy very 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 physical touch is very important for them okay let's go and uh, see the first thing that is how will be your future spouse's personality or what type of person they are so for that i'm using mystical mandal tarot deck okay mystic mandal tarot deck let's go and see that okay Spirit guides, my God, and Angel Archangel Michael, my heart self, channel messages to me for my pile number two. That how will be their future spouse really show their love to you? Okay, and what will be the love language? One more time, and it's complete. So let's go. king of cups again okay pile number 1 also got king of cups energy 10 of pentacle i told you earth energy very much wealthy and the devil <laughs> i told you you know what uh, let's see the okay five of sword is bottom of the deck look if you know that something about tarot then the devil card is all about sexual attraction devil card is all about sex 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 you know making love making love making love scream like devil energy this is the energy like you know what devil energy is capricorn and 10 of pentacle is here so taurus virgo capricorn and king of cups is also here this is uh, pisces cancer scorpio but after seeing the liang liang essential oil you have chosen that so i i was already telling you about sexual energy so look at that devil card is here devil card is a very good card to get in a you know sexual reading because devil is all about very physical physical connection because your future spouse is someone who is very possessive they are not protective Yes, yeah, sometimes they are protective, but I'm getting that they are more of a possessive person. Sometimes, my pile number two, you will be overwhelmed by their affection, and sometimes your future spouse really make you feel shy or embarrassed in front of your family because your future spouse is someone who is very PDA kind of a person. So, this couple, my pile number two, this couple will be. public display of affection kind of a couple so your future spouse they are really not shy to show their love in public okay so they will show their love in public and publicly they will you know hold your hands kiss you kiss your forehead kiss your lips kiss you on your cheeks and cuddle with you and you know they may be like uh 
um, taking you on their shoulder like this kind of energy i'm getting because your future spouse's mind is very nasty very dirty you know in a sexual way they are like they can do anything okay they can do anything their mind is like a devil very possession i can sense that energy that your future spouse is someone who is really having that kind of possession energy okay they possess things okay because uh, physical touch tangible things senses you know the five senses that is uh, uh, sight you know listening to things you know watching anything tasting anything touching anything like smelling anything smell touch you know this kind of tangible thing is very important for your future spouse and from the devil card this is like major arcana so devil card is telling me that your future spouse is very much into physical activity okay they may be going to gym they're really you know having a good figure sweet sweet figure and the sex life will be oof, amazing hot steamy and they will be obsessed with you maybe for some of you your future spouse will be obsessed or very much like you know addicted towards you okay Con some kind of addiction is here uh, but king of cups is telling me that uh, before meeting you your future spouse was really um you know not a uh, feeling emotionally fulfilled but after meeting you your future spouse will be feeling very emotionally fulfilled and they will be feeling that yes they are the best husband or they are having the best wife or the best husband that anyone could get and you know if by marrying you your future spouse will be feeling like they are having the world cup they are really having this uh, powerful uh, power that yes i'm the one i'm having my wife I, I, i'm having my husband and everyone is really jealous about it and because i can see the green color their heart chakra will be opened their throat chakra will be opened heart chakra and throat chakra will be opened but they will uh, you know they are a good communicator your future spouse is really a good uh, communicator to uh, to other people okay to their friend circle to their family they are someone who can speak very fluently but when it comes to express their love lovely lovey dovey feelings they are not good at it okay that's why they are they are going to you know show their physical love their uh, their physical touch you know sex is very important for them because my my pile number two your future spouse will be someone that uh, for them physical intimacy is very important to rejuvenate the relationship and to keep uh, you know to 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 have a healthy relationship physical intimacy is very important for them i'm getting this energy by the devil card okay and they are very passionate about it from the ten of pentacles i'm getting that your future spouse is someone who is very wealthy very 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 wealthy okay ten of pentacles is having a great family a very good we big family i can sense you are having child or children for some of you you are having one or two children for some of you i'm getting twins triplet or having more than two or more than three child or maybe you are having a pet okay a good a good building a good house good family having pet beautiful family like ten of pentacles means money 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 Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. These two cards are all about, you know, emotional fulfillment, money, wealthy, like King or Queen Empire energy. So, here you got Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten of Pentacles is all about they are very wealthy, so they don't have to think about that financial things. Okay, because that that financial thing is already solved. So that's why their mind is always very naughty, very charming, and you know others will be very jealous of you. I'm getting that energy too, that other people will be very, very jealous of this relationship. I'm getting your future spouse is someone who is not going to be as good looking as you. Yes, they are good looking because physical, superficial things really matter. doesn't matter when the love is true right so the energy that i'm getting that your future spouse is not going to be as good looking as you but they are also very good looking and they are very wealthy they are having a very stable 
like it's more than stable like this is like a very wealthy family this is more than rich money is here like ten of pentacle and king of cups and the devil there is so much of money devil is all about tangible things devil is about earning money and getting money addiction gold diamond that is tangible things you know our physical world is represented by devil okay and then you got the ten of pentacles and then you got the king of cups so exactly they are feeling like um, they are the top of the hills why because financially already they are very very rich their mother father grandmother grandfather already gave them lots of money they have some kind of inheritance money and as well as their their personal life by having a wife or husband like pile number 2 they are feeling that they got everything that they ever wanted your future spouse's mind will be like a king or an emperor or empress king queen or emperor empress because i am getting that your future spouse is so fulfilled by having you and by having this lots of money okay i can see that this is you know this is for some of you okay please guys if this message resonate then take it and if not then leave it for some of you i'm getting that many people are going to criticize you by saying that you married this person for money okay many people will say to you that you married this person for money because i'm saying you my pile number 2 is very pretty very pretty and they are like more wealthy and you know their looks are not so good of course it's a superficial thing guys so this is not for this is like energy that i'm getting so i need to tell you that right but i'm also getting that in your future spouse's mind there is only you you can see the staircase can you see that you can see that staircase right the staircase there goes to the mind and you can only go to their mind no one else can their mind is only open for you they don't care what other people are saying because you know the devil energy they are very sharp they are very logical and they are very practical so your future spouse will be very practical rather than emotional they know that what other people are thinking what other people are saying but their ear their mind is only open for you only your words only your loving words only your caring words only your heart can enter their mind enter their ear wow i'm getting like you will be getting lots of lots of uh, jewelries you know luxury luxurious things very very like very physical for pile number 1 that was more of a balanced like having 50% spiritual 50% material things and lovey dovey physical touch but for this pile like spirituality <laughs> you know like maybe you are someone who is a kind of a spiritual person but for your future spouse oh my god pure devil like demon they are going to be you know so 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 attracted towards you you know they are going to make you feel very confident i don't know what you are thinking about your own body but to your future spouse you have a body of a sculpture you know that angel sculpture in the greece in the roman okay this kind of sculpture's body you got okay let's go see something more from sexual magic there that what will be their love language because they are going to be very 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 naughty you know their you know sex life will be will be on point okay these cards really you no know, my god this is so fast emperor energy is here look at that i told you i told you about that they are the king or the queen or the emperor or the empress because this is the authoritative energy this is the powerful wealthy person this is like 50 shades of gray for some of you i'm getting if you have seen the movie then this is for you this is like a beauty and the beast no one can see the beauty that your future spouse is already having in them others are only seeing their rough behavior their prideful behavior many people will be saying that your future spouse someone who is very very prideful about themselves your future spouse will have a very um you know very good main part uh, can you see that this this things yes the, the their main part will really satisfy you 
and this is like weird message i'm getting that your future spouse will um, <laughs> mm, uh, <laughs> i'm feeling kind of a shy but <laughs> Your future spouse may masturbate in front of you while watching you. Okay. Like they are going to make you feel that baby you don't need to touch me. Only your look can make me feel like I'm having orgasm. Okay. And number four is the emperor card. And emperor is all about you know what. Emperor is very cold outside. That's why I told you that your future spouse will be very cold outside. Maybe uh, in initial stages there will be coldness. Okay. Actually they are not cold. They are very shy to you. Your future spouse in initial stages they will be very shy to you. And they are not cold. So don't take their shyness as their coldness. Because emperor energy is very cold, very shy. They have a hard time to you know, express their love, lovey-dovey language through words. Vocally, they are not so comfortable. But their physical touch will be amazing. Aries energy is coming from this card. And also, I am getting snake here. So, this is going to be a very healing energy. And also, I am getting an anchor energy. Anchor, you know, that used in the sea and the ocean uh, from the uh, ship. Okay. So, the anchor from the anchor, I am getting this is going to be a very deep rooted relationship. No one can break this relationship. Also, I'm getting here some pomegranate. Can you see that? So, by by watching this pomegranate, I'm also getting uh, the relationship of Hades and Persephone. Uh, if you have seen, um, you, if you have known the mythological story, then it's good. And if you don't know, you should search the Google, the story of Hades and Persephone. You know, I'm getting that this is true love because Hades gives Persephone um, pomegranate before leaving his castle, so that Persephone would come back to her again, come back to his, come come back to him again. This is like the symbol of true love, and there is also diamonds, and there is also I was telling you that your figure is like a sculpture. Look at that. There is also a sculpture. So this is you. They are imagining you like this. And they are having their masturbation going on and on. And your figure is like this sculpture. Look at that. I told you. Let's see what else is coming for you. The tower. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Possessive energy and the moon. Oh my god. Look at that. So much of... <laughs> And you don't believe what I got in my... <laughs> Look at that. The strength card is here in bottom of the deck. This is also giving me the vibrations of devil card. By seeing the horn. And you are going to dominate them. Okay. You are going to dominate them. My pile number two. So. See that card. This tower card is giving me the vibrations. That... Your future spouse, sometimes they really act like insecure baby because they are, they know that how valuable you are to them. They know how beautiful you are and your future spouse will be very, very possessive towards you. This is like more of a possess possessive energy more than protective. Sometimes they might check your phone. This is not like they are invading your personal space. This is like they are very insecure. So don't ever think that they are not giving you freedom. They are not giving you independence. They are not trusting you. Yes, your future spouse trusts you a lot. But they don't trust other person. They don't trust other people. Because for your future spouse, you are the beautiful butterfly. And there are other bugs and spiders. They want to harm you. And your future spouse is someone who is going to protect you. That's why they are feeling so much of, you know, possessive bodyguard kind of energy that my pile number two is so beautiful, soft like cotton. They need to be protected. Your, your future spouse really see you as the empress because they are the emperor and your future spouse watch you 
and I'll see you as the empress and empress needs to be taken care of by the emperor that's why you know this is the, their mind you know this is their mind and they are thinking that you are laying here and the other person is really having sex with you in their mind and they are coming with this axe look at that how protective they are this is all about the imagination the tower card and sexuality this is all about insecurity they are very possessive this is like their imagination that um, other people might disguise as them and they will come to you and have a sex with you and you have no idea that this is not your hubby or this is not your wifey this is someone else like for your future spouse you will be someone who is very innocent who is very soft who is very kind-hearted and who don't know how to say no okay and i can also see that look at that can you see it can you see his heart look at that can you see that heart so there is there is some kind of you know broken things so maybe your future spouse has already um been through and had been through a heartbreak so that's why your future spouse is very very afraid to lose you this is like three major arcanas this is going to be amazingly sexual like mad crazy sexual energies like emperor tower with the moon three major arcanas are here and devil card is here and in the bottom of the deck you got this friend this is very 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 powerful couple this couple will be very powerful and other couple will really learn that how to really have this kind of energetic relationship the moon card your future spouse loves your boobies your future spouse loves to suck your boobs love to suck you they are very good at oral sex and the devil card and the moon card were together so their mind is always been the into physical physical thing okay this is the way that they show their love and you will be this pearl look at that can you see that pearl you will be this pearl to them you are very valuable to them you are like the kohinu you are like the diamond that they want to secure and the moon is all about you know emotion this is like emotional connection moon with the king of cups was there so this is all about very emotional connection very seductive connection and they want to please you i'm getting that you are the dominant one my pile number 2 your future spouse will want you to dominate them so you are the dominant one and your future spouse want to have sex with you all the time like all the time all the time all the time they want to sex with you and they are very secretive too because i can see a scorpio they are very secretive so secretly they admire you secretly they watch you maybe they are some kind of you know maybe you are um doing something and they are secretly watching you or they are the observer kind of a thing they are watching you observing you and really you know thanking the universe that thank you so much universe for giving me such seductive and beautiful and you know precious my pile number 2 thank you for giving me this person to my life they are also very emotional and they will um they will be very emotionally connected towards you so my pile number 2 be very careful while talking to them because if you are you know in if you are having an argument and say something um harsh they will take it to their heart and i'm also getting some arguments will be there because devil and tower together some arguments will be there and all the arguments will be due to third party situation because of their insecurity i'm getting that your future spouse really get angry when you are talking to the opposite sex be the un i'm telling you again that they are not going to um they are not going to take your freedom they are not going to make you feel suffocated but they are very secure so first my pile number 2 before doing anything first heal your future spouse you need to make them feel that they are very secure and they are very protected with you and after that everything you know the negative part of this relationship will be gone let's go to the next card that what you should know that what you should know about them anything anything more this is going to be a very powerful energy by the way take action so if you are waiting for waiting for some you know action then take that action 
or maybe someone is going to take their action towards you okay so if you are single someone is coming at you very soon because this take action is also giving me the vibrations of knight of wands okay so they are going to be very charming very seductive many people really attracted to them but your future spouse really wants someone who is different who is not attracted to them who is like you know like an angel and you are the someone okay you are that someone who is going to really take their heart away you are the only one okay and what else unlikely so they are going to be you know they are going to be many exes your future spouse got many ex because uh many people really broke their heart they are your future spouse always wanted someone who is very very loyal to them and unfortunately your future spouse got a really bad luck in this past toxic relationship maybe those relationship were just a lesson for them okay compromise or the libra energy is here so i'm getting that uh there will be some some kind of compromise that your future spouse will make in order to stay with you i'm already getting that your future spouse will be someone who is madly crazily in love with you and they can do anything for you so any kind of compromise any kind of protection any kind of thing that you need your future spouse will give you right away okay they are like dear devil lover like they can do anything for you so so oh my god this is so like loyal loyal relationship i'm getting that your future spouse will be very very loyal to you very loyal to you let's go what messages that you are getting um you make me smile i want to express my feelings to you i feel you even though we are apart so right now you guys are apart okay some kind of separation is here but they can feel your energy and single someone is coming in your way very soon my love i'm so blessed to have you as my partner yes they will be feeling very blessed to have you let's get married and stay together i can't live alone anymore exactly so take action that's why the card was here because some kind of marriage proposals are coming in your way my pile number 2 lucky pile number 2 emotions are running high i feel my heart aches so much my heart needs your love exactly and this is also about the moon energy the moon card that was exactly telling the same thing that emotions are running high some kind of emotional things will be amazing and the next card is oh my god oh my god can you see that card i am dear devil lover ride or die lover i am crazily in love with you moa So I told you that your future spouse will be someone who will be dear devil lover, and guys, I literally shuffled in front of you, and boom, that was like yes. That's as a conf con confirmation from my angels that yes, 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 yes. Your future spouse will be someone who will be, you know, a bad boy fall in love with a good girl. Okay, this kind of energy. Like your future spouse will be bad boy to others, but very good, nice, and baby to you. Wow, this is like only you can have him. You know, like only you can tame them. Okay, only you can really make them go crazy. This is all I got for you, my beautiful pile number two. If you like like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and if you have any suggestion, please let me know. I would. definitely do that video in my upcoming uh, weeks and stay happy stay blessed i love you guys hello my darlings my beautiful angels welcome to my channel so if you choose this beautiful jasmine essential oil then this is your reading so first of all let me tell you guys by seeing this jasmine essential oil i can also see that maybe you and your future spouse both love to wear a beautiful cologne or perfume a uh, perfume or smell is very important for you and the jasmine is white colored flower and i'm also getting that this is a kind of a nature loving person so you and your future spouse both will have a uh, fun and in an an energetic time and really spend lifetime in woods or in the places you will travel there is so much of greenery maybe amazon or 
you know african countries where there is many plants and many woods so very nature loving energy was coming from here maybe your future spouse is someone and you are someone both of you are going to follow uh, many nature loving or nature picture pages on facebook or instagram twitter whatever you are doing in social media maybe you are watching some kind of videos with where you can really listen some beautiful sleeping music or you know the birds is chirping the sound of ocean i'm getting that nature lover okay you really love to spend time in nature okay and from the jasmine energy i'm also getting air is very important libra gemini aquarius energy and also some kind of earth energy is very important taurus or capricorn a bit of water is also here because you know because through air you can smell a thing right because jasmine is all about beautiful smell and jasmine is a very good perfume also okay so let's go see something from let's see tarot deck so first i'm going to see that what will be the personality of your future spouse okay because on that basis we will discuss that what will be the love language of your future spouse so i'm going to use let's see tarot deck so let's go and see what will be their personality be like okay my spirit gets my garden angels my garden demons please channel to message to me for my pile number three those of you choose how will their future spouse show their love to them okay how they show their love to them how they show their love to them how they show their love to them okay you got the ten of swords You got the temperance. Wow, it's a sword. Such a sword energy is so much here. And in the bottom of the deck, you got the emperor energy. Look at that. Very authoritative energy. They're very good, intelligent person. Very calculative person too. Okay. So the energies I'm getting, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, the air energies, of course, and Tempers is giving me Sagittarius vibes. And you know what? The Ace of Sword and Ten of Sword. Wow. The Ace of Sword is really giving me the energy that your future spouse is someone who is going to have some kind of clarification that you are their wifey or hubby okay so if your future spouse maybe you are not with your future spouse right now because i can see uh, someone you know my my viewers my many of my viewers are literally closing a painful chapter a boring chapter a chapter that were that you guys are not interested in that boring chapter of your life is ending and a new exciting chapter is opening okay and you don't know who your future spouse is okay many singles are here or maybe you are in a relationship but you are not with your future spouse maybe you know maybe for some of you you know who is who is going to marry you okay but you are not with them you're not having any contact with them you're not talking to them you're not texting them there is some kind of separation is going on because ten of sword is someone is transforming this is self personal transformation okay and some kind of old habit old ideas old point of view have to die so your future spouse is going through a major transformation i can sense that ten of sword is something that you know dark phase of life is ending and a new start is waiting for them so your future spouse might be doing something about their work about their study about their job right now they are busy with that okay and they are having some kind of very transformative energy maybe for some of you i'm getting your future spouse is going to travel from one place to another because there is birds i can see that right there is birds and there is also wings because this is angel temperance card is the angelic card and temperance is a high major arcana this has high vibrations so your future spouse is someone who know how to balance between two things and in this relationship you and your future spouse will have a great balance 
that's why i was having some kind of libra vibrations okay maybe your or their zodiac sunshine moonshine or strong venus position is on libra or maybe you are really using your libra energy um for your work okay because we have 12 zodiac energies in ourselves and in many situations in different situation different places we use our different energies like when you are meditating we need to use our pisces energy when we are studying we need to use our virgo and sagittarius energy when we are sleeping we need to use our cancer energy when we are counseling someone we need to use our you know that aquarius energy so if, if in every uh, situation in every different other uh, phases we use different kind of energy and your future spouse really going to someone who is going to have uh, libra energy around them they are very fair they have very justice oriented energy they have a mind that can give other people good justice they are very fair they can't see any kind of you know illegal things or corruptions they will be always against this kind of corruptions your future spouse is really having an angelic figure angelic look and they will always try to balance everything they are not extremist your future spouse is not going to be an extremist they will be always having a good balance between two extremes that's why they are very adaptable okay very adaptable energy is also coming from them they can adapt any situation they are also having chameleon energy chameleon spirit they may having any kind of you know okay i'm also getting their tanned skin okay they are tanned skin more of a tanned skin having long neck and their figure is kind of a kind of a skinny or thin kind of energy okay but they are very strong ace of swords is all about clarity clarification having a very logical mind very deep thinker and ace of swords is i am sure what i want so at the point of time you will meet your future spouse your future spouse will be very sure that i am going to marry pile number 3 or i am going to have a future life with my pile number 3 because your future spouse is someone who really doesn't like to dwell you know doesn't like to have any kind of dwelling things they don't love to juggle between two okay they are someone who is very straightforward so your future spouse is not going to use any sugar coated language to make you feel good they will be always telling you bluntly the truth they will be truth speaker so your future spouse i i can't see their eyes in these two cards so they will be like you know the justice is always blind because justice only know what is true and what is false they don't see the person they don't uh, they don't get biased so your future spouse will be non biased while doing any kind of justice or while doing any kind of punishments okay i am getting that your future spouse is someone who is related to police military uh, or some kind of you know legal services that the you know the you know people get services through your future spouse your future spouse will be very good in mathematics and study and uh, physics okay mathematics study uh, computer um technology you know artificial intelligence i can see some kind of math equation program writing some kind of this energy and your future spouse will be very straightforward very loyal and very strong headed person once your future spouse really know something that's it no one can change their mind no one can manipulate them your future spouse is very strong minded and they are very strong hearted too so they have very strong mind uh, okay so the numbers is number 10 number 1 and number 14 or 5 okay so month of october month of january is important and the month of may is also important and number 10 14 and 1 maybe your birthday their birthday their birth month your birth month or the day or the month you will meet your future spouse okay so from these three cards i'm getting the energy that their love language will be very private your future spouse is going to be a very private person they don't love to show their love and affection uh, into the public because for them your future spouse is someone who really thinks that my life my wife my hubby that's my family 
why would i really show off in you know in public places because this is not a thing to show off okay so from your future spouse's perspective they don't love to show off their love or they don't they don't want to show their uh, private relationships uh, in front of other public because i am getting that your future spouse is really uh, going to be a public servant they may be into ias ips you know in india or you know it, i know i am having so much of international viewers too so maybe you know some kind of legal thing like fbi or they are doing some kind of police or you know in judiciary and you know, law legal or uh, you no know, barrister advocate so they just can't show their love affection in public area okay they they, they have to very private they have to be very private person in order to have a very safe family okay um okay let's go and see but i'm getting that your future spouse really need someone who can understand them so your future spouse is someone who really uh you know stimulated in mind so mind stimulation is very important for them okay and uh, by seeing the temperance energy i'm also getting that the temperance is all about perfect balance so physical relationship and mental relationship will be exactly perfect balance nothing is addictive nothing is overflowing everything is perfect and normal okay so let's go and see something from uh, sexual magic tarot deck that what will be their love language be like wow i'm already getting that they are really like you know soulmate vibrations very mature very mature person and for someone i'm getting that sexual relationship is doesn't um the, it doesn't important for them because for them you are with your future spouse that's it they are happier than anything else let's go and see what cards you have you got ace of wands pregnancy okay you got wow knight of pentacle look at that very slow moving energy but you got it knight of pentacle number one is okay ace of wands and ace of sword together and the next card is wow eight of cups okay and in the bottom of the deck you got the hierophant hierophant is a is a, is a very orthodox family very private family very private person and hierophant also told me about that your future spouse is having a great degree in their study okay they really studied a lot they are someone who is very studious okay the ace of wands this is like a pregnant lady is laying here this is like wife and husband is taking care of them so you and your future spouse will be having a beautiful baby and you know the pregnancy will really, really happen uh two years after marriage because i can see two s's ace of wand and ace of sword so one plus one two so i'm getting that you and your future spouse will be having a baby after two years of the marriage and you know during the pregnancy your future spouse is really going to take care of you and i'm really getting this is someone very private and ace of wand is full of passion they are very passionate about you and they will show you in the bed they will show you in the bed that how passionate they are and like knight of pentacle is a very slow moving energy so for some of you, you this person will come uh, kind of a you know late in your life or when you are thinking that it's too late you should come right now so your future spouse will you know you will meet your future spouse in late 20s for some of you this is going to be um a second marriage or third marriage for of your future spouse okay and uh, the knight of pentacle is the energy that is very wine and dine very fancy uh, like very seductive lots of foreplay is happening here candles are here very romantic very soulmate kind of vibrations slow and steady wins the race you know your future spouse got some kind of tortoise energy turtle energy they start very slowly 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 and then speeding up okay so also in sexual relationship they will start in a very slow 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 and boom you are pregnant 
like this is kind of a jump right and look at that how how look at that as a tarot reader literally i'm pulling the energy of the first foreplay and then the pregnancy i can't see what is between here okay i can't see the you know the intimated pictures because i can see that you know in in this card look at that can you see that let me show you let me show you look at that the person is pouring wine on this person and look at that how this person is looking at me how this person is looking at me because your person is very private and i am literally you know trying to channel the message from your future spouse and in future spouse is looking at me like that that hey bitch why are you channeling message from me why why you want to know my private life and you know telecast it on youtube don't so this is kind of a warning for me <laughs> that i'm really you know like invading their privacy so i'm sorry this is for your wife or this is for your husband my pile <laughs> so i'm getting that your future spouse is someone who is very very protective and very private in their about their family life and about you they don't want to show the world that what you are what you you and your future spouse is going to have in bedroom because i can see the foreplay is just started that you know he's pouring um, wine on you and going to leak all over uh, leak from your body this is like leaking and sucking and everything is started and then boom there is pregnancy okay okay this is it because your future spouse don't want me to tell these things to you okay i won't um just kidding then the card is eight of cups is here it's like romantic dancing like having a beautiful romantic party you know the honeymoon will be amazing you guys are having beautiful sexiest honeymoon ever and this is like yes exactly i'm having perfect life perfect partner like eight of cups is anything negative energy that is not serving in my life anymore you and your future spouse will really get rid of that energy and eight of cups is also like your future spouse is someone who is very good at moving on so if someone really cheated them or don't give them the love that they need your future spouse will um, never mind to uh get uh, get rid of them okay your future spouse is very self loving person and okay like this is so much of balance their love language will be very responsibility they will be very responsible very honest very care you know caring energy so your future spouse will take every responsibilities and they will really you know emotionally they will fulfill you Okay, they are very secretive and very protective someone is really guarding their energy so it's kind of very difficult for me to see beyond this guard okay but i can see pregnancy for sure maybe you guys are having baby um as soon as you guys are married okay let's see something more let's see something more that what you guys are having be assertive so if you are feeling negative about your love life or feeling negative about your hubby don't because i can see that your angels are telling you to be more positive within the next few months okay this is for some of you that within the next few months for singles you will meet your future spouse and uh, or maybe if you, you are already in a relationship then i'm getting that within next few months you know you will be into the next level and if you're someone who is very young to have a relationship then this is going to be very soon sooner than you think okay abundance is coming in your way so uh, a kind of a signal or a symbol you will get before your future spouse come into your life that uh, sudden abundance sudden money will be in your life okay if you are the earning member then you will be uh, suddenly you know get that promotions or if you are not earning member if your father or mother is the earning member then suddenly your mother or father get a promotion or got lot of money out of nowhere 
okay like this is kind of energy that abundant energy the overflowing money or jewelry will be a symbol that your future that you're going to meet your future spouse very soon let's go and take something from my handmade deck okay look at that how big it is let's go and shuffle it guys let's go and shuffle it okay so the first card is in past life i failed to marry you but i loved you the most so this time i came in this earth to complete my fairy tale with you i love you so this is like in this is like past life connection that you are having with your future spouse and in past life they failed to marry you but in this life they will be uh, marrying you okay and they are here to complete your chapter look at that the next card past life connection i married you in past life i will marry you in this life so maybe for some of you you are going to marry someone that you have married already in the past life and for some of you you are going to marry someone that in past life you you guys are were in a relationship but failed to marry each other like both parties are here i am stuck in a place i need more time just wait for me so yes they are right now in a stuck in a place so they need some time to get out of that place maybe you know workplace or some kind of situation please say something to me i am so nervous to start a new conversation yes sometimes i get scared too after all i'm shy so wow your future spouse will be a shy person so my pile number three you need to start this conversation or you need to take action because you know your your future spouse is not a converse um, conversation starter they feel very shy okay my heart only my heart only beats for you you are my true soulmate so this is kind of a soulmate vibrations or soulmate energy okay this is for one card that was you know here i know you have a secret crush on me i have a crush on you too give me some time i'm coming towards you so for some of you this message is also going to resonate wow so this is all i got for you my pile number three if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you have any suggestion let me know i definitely do this video i love you guys